Are you rolling? I'm rolling, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, and welcome to the Booze Book Biker. Oh, wait, oh, I'm not. Yes. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm rolling. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Like Hello. No, you already Hi. said that. No. So we can just go. Hello. No, that's a. You can't have a messed up intro like that. Okay, we're just going with Hello. it. Hello. <laughs> we have Hello. to because Keel's here. Hi, Keel. Keel's ca come back to us. Hey. Do you want to do the intro? It's like Booze no. Book Easter. No, no. <laughs> the the answer, I've also <laughs> hidden a bunch of eggs around your house. <laughs> or books, perhaps. So Keel was last year. We're not sure because we were, we were too lazy to get up off the couch and check, but we think it was for episode five. It was for At the Mountains of Madness, that we can be sure of. Which is a Lovecraft book. Lovecraft. And Lovecraft was influenced by... Yeah, he crafted a story out of love for <laughs> Robert, you know, that guy that wrote the book we read. Chambers. <laughs> there you go. He's got a middle initial too. Is it W? Robert yeah. W. No, it's W. Robert W. It's Chambers. Gerald? Robert W. Chambers. <laughs> What's the name over. of this book? We have to start over. We don't have to start no, over. We do. Oh, really? We, no, just well, now we do because I just wrecked it. You wreck it. You made it. Keel's got his close up, and we did the intro a couple of times. I think we're good. Just what? Tell me what the name of the book is. The King in Yellow. Woo! The King in Yellow. Yes. By Robert. W. Chambers. That's correct. And this is best synopsized <laughs> as a collection of horror fictions. Yes. Yeah. Supposedly he's the father of strange fiction. It's kind of like Twilight Zone esque. And it's, uh, it was very Twilight yeah. Zone like, yeah. yeah. It was very Twilight 1895, Zone. 1895, Twilight Zone. But it's set in 1925. Exactly. That threw me because I didn't read up on this guy before I started reading the book, and I was or, like, what? This didn't happen in the 20s? I was very confused. But then I realized it was actually a futuristic book written in 1895. Oh, did all the stories take place in the exact yeah. same year? Well, those, the ones that... Oh, the ones you read? Yeah. The okay. king and yellow ones. For the, the <laughs> some, were, some were in England, and some were in New York, Paris. and some were in Paris. Paris. Yeah. One France actually partially right. took place in 1500, because you traveled through time. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't Don't know you know that one? <laughs> so, The Twelve Steps for the King in Yellow by Robert W. Which is a collection of short Chambers. stories. An amalgamation of horror. <laughs> so step one, write the most beautiful play ever. Ever. Yeah, it transcend. it was like the pinnacle of art. And uh, anyone, whether you were a layman or an intellectual, you could understand it. You thought it was beautiful. Step two. Affect a ramshackle host of characters. Ramshackle? That's right. That's Quite a fancy ramshackle. word you don't hear every day. That doesn't even work. Step three. What's this lake of holly? I don't know. I still don't know. Step four. Alchemy. What more could you ask for? Not much. Step five. Hunt with falconers from 500 years ago. Get bit by a snake. It's always the downfall of traveling through time. No antibiotics. Six. Step six. I still have no idea what this yellow sign looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Step seven. I had no idea the Michelin Man had leprosy. Step eight. Dream, dream, dream. That's all I got. Dream, dream, dream. Lots of dreams. Dream. When I want you, you and this? all your charms. Okay, continue. Step nine. <laughs> the middle of this book makes no sense. Am I illiterate? Yes. <laughs> Step 10. Is this poetry? Have I lost my mind? Step, <laughs> Step 11. Long stories, no king. That basically describes the second half of the book. Nothing to do with the king in yellow. No yellow sign. It's not even really horror. That's why I stopped reading. Step 12. You're not supposed to say you stopped reading. That's okay. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it real, cute. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I was going to lie. I was <laughs> Step 12 is my brain isn't smart enough to comprehend this book. I love, I mean, I'll just, you know, go out and say it. I stopped after Mademoiselle D's. Ah. But uh, I loved those first few books. I mean, they were They great. were really good. Especially, okay, should we, should we kind of take them out of it? You're going to go with each one? Sure. Yeah, that's cool. I so like, The so. Repair of Reputations. Mm -hmm. Was oh. it a biscuit box? Or was it a safe? Do you remember that? It was a biscuit box. It was totally a biscuit box. It was box. filled with the secret recipe for those red lobster cheese rolls. Oh man, I love those. 
Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I say after party. <laughs> Red <laughs> Lobster. Just cheese rolls, please. Exactly. Mr. Wild was creepy, and he had a cat that always like scratched his face. And fake ears. Don't forget the fake ears. He should have got some wheatgrass. It made his cat real happy. Cat? But don't cats also eat wheatgrass? I don't know. Me neither. I don't have a cat. It's like vegans and cats. Vegans, vegans cat. and cats eat wheatgrass. Oh, vegans and cats eat wheatgrass. Vegans oh. do not eat the cat. Jamba juice. Pretty sure you can get a shot of wheatgrass, guys. My sister used to work at Jamba Juice. Really? True story. In LA. Very nice. So what was the second story? The mask? That was the, the mask. Ma that, you know what? That might have been my favorite that one. That one was like really one. creepy. And that, was, that one was easy to follow. Yeah. You know, it wasn't hard to get into. That was a pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward, creepy story. Yeah. You know? I liked it. I so think she was a little creepy. Well, it was a happy ending, because she was alive at the end. Yeah, but that alchemist still blew his brains out. Yeah, the, the, it was happy for the guy. <laughs> yeah, the guy was like, thank God the husband's gone. I'm looking back on his super hot wife. Exactly. <laughs> and <when I> got... <laughs> she's all mine. And she stayed young over like four years, because she was stone. Of the whitest white. Of the whitest white, yeah, don't, don't go in the pool. Do not, don't yeah, I thought that was fucked up. The guy's like, oh, almost forgot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How do you forget something yeah. like yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, I have to do forgot. my laps. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Whoops, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and he just like, says it in such a weird way. They're like, why would you have that? And he's like, I wanted to experiment with something bigger. I'm like, what? You weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> But didn't they describe him, like when he made those goldfish into stone, didn't they describe him as reaching his hands in there and grabbing them? Yes, yes I yeah. noticed that. I was like, I, what's going on? Yeah. So you have to be immersed? Is that I the I thought he was going to become like a professional boxer. And what was with the, the light? The light that was on there. Talked about the beam of light that would shoot out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, oh, I missed like that. gold or something? Yeah, I don't know. What, what was, was it shooting out of? Like when they would, when it, the when water. they would be thrown in there, the like a beam of light would shoot out. Oh, of whatever it was. The force. aliens. It's obviously the aliens that made all of humanity kill. Have you ever seen <laughs> X Files? That's what it was. Have you ever seen Californication? Uh, David Duchovny. It's cool. So, that's the mask. But what's the third installment of these short stories? Is it? Um, that's Court the, of the Dragon. Yeah, th that's the Court one with the, the organ dragon. player. Yeah. The guy's so angry. I noticed everyone's so angry. Like in the in the first book, the guy was just always like when anyone was talking about him, and he knew that they thought he was crazy, and he was just so <laughs> angry, and he was suppressing his rage because he couldn't let them think that he was actually crazy because he's not crazy, but he's so angry. And then um, a lot of these turns out he was crazy though. Yeah. He <laughs> it was insane. And then he died in the criminal institute. Yeah, that one. Or something. Which one was the story that ended <clears throat> kind of weird? He's like. They all ended oh. pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it, it didn't end definitively. It was like it ended mid sentence. It was like I wish he would, you know, be quiet or whatever. Oh. Yeah. I think they were, they were talking about priests. That things. was the first one. That was the first one. Was it? Yeah. And then I had like the little subtext like you died on a day later in the criminal yeah, institute or yeah, something like weird. that oh no no that was I think that was, uh, that was the third one, one with the uh, yeah it was the third one because he had like his weird dreams. dreams yeah it's because he fell asleep in church at least that's what i tell my kids wait what's the name of the third one it's uh the court of the court dragon. of the dragon yeah. court of the dragon the church, that's right the church is the church of saint barnabas 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 you need to bring that name back what was saint barnabas <laughs> known for <laughs> Fair enough. The patron <laughs> saint of Barney. Ah. So a book, that's three, right? Yep. Book four. Well, wait, wait, wait. What was your favorite part of book three? My favorite part? Mm. Or the most interesting thing? Probably the, the description of that guy that stared at him and was playing the piano. Yeah. And he was angry that he was looking at him. I thought it was weird. Well, he had like a menacing look, he said. He described it like, I forget exactly. It freaked him out. And then he like ran through the city. Got caught by the guy and then woke up. In church. Didn't he in church. Up back in church. Absolutely. Yeah. I thought it was weird that when he's talking about the organ playing and then how they like didn't get mad or how he was like nobody noticed. You know what I'm talking about? No. So they, well, they were sitting there playing it's the organ he and it was, he said it was like devil music that they were playing. Devils. Like, Why would anybody play that in a church? Devil music in a church. Because he read The King in Yellow. I couldn't help but thinking of him playing in Agata Davida 
Oh, I don't get the reference. What's a guy in Davida? Absolutely. <laughs> Bart switches the organ music and the old lady's all playing. In a Gata de Vida, yeah. Absolutely. That's what I was thinking. Bam, bam, bam. Yep. And it goes like I will say, this is going on a tangent. And then everybody in the church starts singing. Yeah, yep, yep. As if they're singing from a from, hymn, though. From the, yeah, because Bart swaps And then did the credits go? Because they should. We should do plastered puppets. We should reenact that. What we Master of puppets? Plastered puppets. Don't tell them. Okay. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. <laughs> but we don't have the puppets, so you can just use your hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sock <Soft> puppets. <laughs> All right, so... Look, four, Which one of you is the master of said puppets? We are all masters of, all the masters of the puppets. puppets. It's a democratic. You can help us with the puppets. I don't like puppets. Oh, you'll like these puppets. I don't, I don't, I don't even believe in puppets. They're multicultural. Puppets. They come from China. It's, that's mean. Well, you don't. <laughs> you don't believe in puppets. I don't believe in puppets. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> well, they're not real. Yeah, they're they just, are. Just yeah, some, are. Some people make you know tell you to freak you out. The uncanny valley. Man, on the internet. <laughs> All right. Well, I will point out one cool thing about this book. Is it the, the first book that we've read for the Booze of Bideker that actually uses the word Bideker? You guys probably don't know that though. Because we didn't, didn't read the later one. <laughs> You know, I actually chose, um, I forget which book it is coming up, but it's like, uh, Gondra? Room Without a View. Room Without a View. That, ha that is all about a woman losing her Baedeker. Well, it has a chapter about it, but anyways. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Is that something that happens, like, with menopause? <laughs> <laughs> Good line, but you Whoa! gotta speak up. <laughs> First this guy hates puppets, now he hates women. <laughs> It was a joke because you said it's something. You're, it's about a woman who lost her Bideker. And I, was thinking, <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I think it's good. Whatever. Roll with it. I'm over here. But yeah, I think they use Bideker as an adjective. They're like, a, she gave a Bideker description. Oh, excellent! Which means a really lengthy description. Exactly. Bideker. Yeah. Good stuff. We're bringing the word Bideker back. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. <laughs> we totally are. Well, now I'm sad I didn't read that story. Which oh, story was that? I have no idea. Okay. It's like the street. The last three stories are like the streets of the first shell, and then the streets of the dragon's quarter or something, and then. So, uh, what was the vibe? What was the vibe of those later stories? Any different than the first few stories? Uh, yes. They had nothing to do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> they had nothing to do with uh, the play, but they still had, like, the same characters from the short stories, like, intertwined. It was really strange. One was about, like, a war in France and America, fighting an invasion of Paris. That was kind of cool. What, what do you mean, fighting an invasion of Paris? Who was invading Paris? I apologize. Defending. Defending. Germany. Yeah. Uh, of course it's Germany. It's always Germany. We would be remiss not to mention the tie-in with the HBO blockbuster True Detective. Isn't a blockbuster a uh, movie? No. Whatever, Josh. Josh. During the Get summer? It. Josh, shut up. <laughs> it's a video store, duh. <laughs> HBO series. Isn't that a kind of bomb? No, it's a bunker buster. So, so there are. Ball buster. Did you did you watch <laughs> did you watch all the True Detective or you just watched a few? Were telling no, me? I watched I watched all of the True Detective. Oh my gosh, what a great show! Yeah, it's super good. But super there's this tie-in. Watch, watch it. There's this tie-in to The King in Yellow. Yeah, I thought I actually that was. I thought it was much more close to that than uh, you know, like Lovecraft stuff, but I guess it's supposed to be. By design. So how was it? How was it tied into the book? Well, they talk about the king and yellow. Like they'll find notebooks of people, yep. and they'll like say Carcosa, and, and the yellow sign thing. is in there too. Yep, There's yep. a lot of weird symbolism huh. there. They talk about the black star. That's in like the. When they talk about the play. There's a line about the black star. I don't remember what it is. Yeah, and there's like some characters who have like the black stars on their. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I'm thinking. 
You know, it's a lot of that. And there was also like, a, so, you know, in, in True Detective, there's this uh, part where they see a, uh, oh, we're not filming. <laughs> No, keep talking. We're filming. We're just filming something interesting to look at while you guys talk about this stuff that you're talking about. No, but, but what I think is, okay, you've seen True Detective though, right, Christina? I have. You know when they see the, the movie, when Rustin shows them the movie? Yeah. I think that is their their play, the Yellow King. Because <gasps> after they watch that, they, they, all, they all go nuts. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I missed that, so I'm glad we're having this conversation because now I'm enjoying life more. Oh, there's a lot of tequila. And and once <laughs> Rustin sees that that sign or whatever, once he sees the yellow sign, which is what that's supposed to be, he's like always drawn to that case. He can't get it out of his head, and that's like what happens when they see it in the book, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of that going on. Very cool. So in summary, if you if you <laughs> like moving on. if you like. <laughs> <laughs> creepy literature you should definitely read this because this is where it all started check it out also you should read gun girl and join us for our next episode you should probably read to kill a mockingbird too yeah you should probably brush up someone, on some someone should american it. classics you, you're talking about me specifically yeah. no i'm talking <laughs> <laughs>